Yesi yes Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana yes. Last week, before the Monday's attacks on Uru Kenyatta's North Transform, Dennis Itumbi led the Kenya Kwanza Brigade in sharing posts about Northlands. In fact, Dennis Itumbi, through his social media accounts, posted Northlands, which then later he pulled down. What followed was that Uru Kenyatta's Northlands farm was attacked by goons, goons that were seen as government sponsored. So Deni Situmbi and Kenya Kwanza leaders had a prior information that Uhuru Kenyatta's farm was to be attacked. And interestingly enough, Dennis Itumbi is at it again. He has, he's already talking about some attacks come Monday. Let's have a look at a post by Dennis Itumbi some few hours ago. Dennis Itumbi, the Hasla National Intelligence Bureau, HNIB agents are reporting to DG some terrorists and patron Penina John Medu that, number one, Azimio has agreed on a common plan to attack Kikuyu owned businesses in Nairobi on Monday. We have already been seen backing President Kenyatta property that belongs to a Kikuyu. An attack on Kikuyu business will annoy the majority Kikuyu who will blame Ruto for not protecting them. That's a post Deni Zitumbi shared some few hours ago. And from that post, Itumbi is insinuating that Azimio has planned to attack Kikuyu businesses in Nairobi. And he's using very clever words here, a common plan. In this video, I want us to dig deep into this for Kenyans to know in advance the games being played behind the scenes. In which I'll also explain why William Ruto's team, regarding Ashabu and their leaders, they are very disparate in creating a wedge between the mountain and the lake. If you are watching us, but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. Let's proceed. Yes. Let me start by saying this. Why is William Ruto's team very disparate to create a way between the mountain and the lake? Because we are seeing regarding Kimani Choma Lidinyoro, all these leaders from the mountain supporting William Ruto, they are very disparate to antagonize these two communities. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? If you look at it objectively, William Ruto and his team and the leaders supporting William Ruto on the mountain, they know that the only way they can remain relevant on the mountain politics is when the mountain and the lake are fighting. And they equally know that William Ruto's presidency hangs on the balance. Already we are seeing the mountain rebelling against this government. Ruto promised them things, promises and pledges that he has not been able to fulfill. And from some, some speeches we have been seeing coming from the ground, the ground is fed up with William Ruto's government. 
That's the bitter reality these leaders don't want to accept. They are trying to confuse the mountain to create that division for the mountain to continue fighting with the lake for them to survive politically. Because without the mountain, Ruto's presidency is just but a dream. That's exactly what is happening here. So, what are the games being planned here? Before the attacks on Uru Kenyatta's farm, Dennis Itumbi made similar posts. Later, it was established that the goons that attacked, the goons who attacked those goons were government sponsored. And the same same goons went and attacked Raila Spectre International. The same same goons attacked people in Kibra, burnt a mosque and a church, and even attacked journalists. All those attacks are seen as well coordinated with the blessings of the government. The government wants to create this feeling that the mandamanos, the mass action, is not good. In that the, the government is desperate to antagonize the people against Azimio. In this one of today, I won't be wrong to say, ladies and gentlemen, that Dennis Itumbi is just exposing what him and other wrong elements in government have planned. It might be possible, and very highly possible, that the, this rogue Dennis Itumbi and his team have organized goons, goons who will attack businesses in Nairobi. That's very highly possible. And I'm saying that based on what we have seen before. And this is why I've always maintained that Ruto and his team, they are very predictable. You just tie the dots and you'll just know exactly what is happening behind the scenes. They always talk the opposite. Kenyans can also still remember some months ago when Dennis Itumi claimed that Azimio had planned to buy some members of parliament. It never took more than one week. We saw ODM members of parliament at State House Nairobi. So at that time, it emerged that Dennis Itumbi was just revealing what they had planned, but he was talking indirectly. In this one, I'm fully persuaded and convinced that all this thing Dennis Itum is talking about, this is exactly what they have planned. They have, they have a common plan to attack businesses to portray as immune as bad. So the business community in Nairobi, the Hikuyu businessmen and women, the Hikuyu business community should know that their enemy is not Azimio or Azimio supporters. But the same, same government they did elect. It's the government destroying their businesses. From where I sit, my only advice to, <coughs> to the business community in Nairobi, not only the Yiku community, because all Kenyans are doing business in Nairobi, if you can safeguard your stocks, the better. We are dealing with a very rogue government. A government that sees no problem in sponsoring goons and even destroying people's property. Yes, people's properties. It's the responsibility of the government to protect lives and property. Why is Dennis Tumbi? lamenting that Azimio are out 
to destroy businesses. Who is it telling? Why can't the government put in measures, or rather put in place, measures that will safeguard and protect the businesses? Why is Dennis Itumbi sharing this online? These are all political tricks and gimmicks by the government. And I'm talking that with a lot of confidence. In this channel, we don't know how to sugarcoat things or on how to beat about the bush. We always go direct to the point as it is. We are not here to massage anybody's ego. The truth is that Lady Situmbi and this team have most definitely, they have a common plan, a plan on how to attack Kikuyu businesses, to create a way between the mountain and the lake. My appeal to our brothers and sisters from the mountain, don't fall into that trap. That's a trap that has been laid out by the government. Let me stop it there. If you are watching us but you are not yet subscribed, subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans and subscribers here, I'm very much humble, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. If you want to support our forum, I've pinned my number on the comment section. Contact me through the number. Let's meet in our next analysis.